what's going on guys it's your boy rpx blood right here coming at you live from the power of the studio room today i'm going to present a new series to you it's called always rejected what's always rejected first i'm going to be starting off a segment with would you rather questions and i'm going to be my honest opinion of which one i'd rather choose and explain why and the second segment would be the dumbest questions that i found with answers and replies to them with my opinion on them some of them let's get right into this boy would you rather only listen to nickelback or reread all 56 pages of itunes terms and conditions for the rest of your life i would rather listen to nickelback they got a few good songs i'm not gonna lie i instead of a hollywood horror nothing's wrong just as a... i'll stop the second one is would you rather live like a king but no friends or family or be homeless with friends and family hmm i'm gonna go with king only because i get all the girls i don't need friends and family when i got all the money and i can get all the women i want you know what i'm saying player you, you feel me you feel me the third one is would you rather have sex with a goat and no friends would know or not have sex with a goat, but everyone would think that you did. Let's get real here. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'll bang it. Rose petals down. Turn off the lights completely. This is a tricky question. I'm gonna go with uh, banging the goat only because no one will know about it. And I'll treat it as if it never existed. Instead of just not doing it, but everybody in my left, the rest of my life would be like, me. Hey, blood red, what up? Hey, what's good, boy? So, you fucked a goat? No. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure you fucked a goat. Uh, no. That's what's on the news. It's everywhere. You fucked a goat. I'm sorry, brother. Now, the second segment will be dumb questions of the day. With answers and my opinions on them. Let's jump right on to the first question. So, the first question is... What is the phobia of chainsaws called? Common sense, boy. Don't ever fucking go near a chainsaw. <laughs> oh, man, boy. Nigga, you stupid. You have fucked up now. <laughs> Second question. Every time I masturbate, I end up getting angry and throw my turtle against the wall. That's not much of a question. And I think you need to see a doctor. That sounds way too personal. Maybe you were abused growing up by your uncle or something. I, I recommend... I recommend going outside. Go watch the sunset. And then turn your head like this. Keep going. Eventually it will go all black. And then your life problems will be gone. Trust me, I've been there. The third question is... Do you think NASA invented thunderstorms to cover up the sound of space battles? You know, that's a really good question. Space battles. Man, there could be space battles happening right now with NASA and we don't even know about it. What if, like, Barack Obama's right there? And shooting down space aliens and we never knew anything about it while we're over here dealing with Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton having a debate while the real battle is happening in space. Yeah, boy. The fourth question is, if I eat myself, will I get twice as big or disappear completely? Now, there's two types of versions for this question. Do you mean... I'm gonna answer the first one. You're gonna turn yourself inside out if you eat yourself, okay? And the second one is you have to remove, like, uh, some bones from your rib cage, and then you go downtown and then you eat yourself, boy. Forget I said that. The fifth and last question is... How am I sure I'm the real mom of my kid? This person wrote... I just had a baby and it looks like the person I had a baby with, but it doesn't look like me at all and I'm scared. What if he was cheating on me with another lady and I had her kid? This child is the best thing that's ever happened to me and I can't imagine giving my baby away to the real mama. How do I know? Listen, if the baby came out of your vagina, it's your kid, okay? Like, if he was cheating, you should probably go confront him about that. You'd be at home. 
fixing your fucking marriage with your husband because obviously if you think that baby came from someone else you have a mental issues and if your husband is cheating on you with someone else fix that fucking issue right now I don't know this baby didn't come for me you you're a fucking idiot that's all I can say alright guys that's the end of the first episode of always rejected like comment share whatever late for more and tune in next week for the next episode of always rejected peace